Hey everyone, uh, today I want to talk to you a little bit about a passive rainwater aquaponics system I built last year. Uh, this is the second spring and uh, it's doing pretty well, so I'm going to show you around here a little bit. I, uh, we started with building an eaves trough on this house because there wasn't one. Uh, I installed a rain chain that comes down here to this nice little barrel. And then that feeds back into this backwater pond, which is, these are filtration systems. And under my feet here, across the walkway, into the main pond. And this is the main pond right here. Uh, most of what I've been planted in this pond is local indigenous stuff. There were 14 different edible plants planted in here last year. This year we put in a couple of new things. There's the water lilies over there and these right here are the water irises. Uh, this is a native plant here called calamus, which has edible tubers. So this pond drains out into the landscape, it runs across here and drains out into the landscape, it passively irrigates the landscape. And you can see it's really looking good. It, very comfortable and a nice spot and so this water drains down this little channel over here and into the aquatic plant section and I planted a bunch of cattails as you can see they're doing really well and some bulrush and these all have edible parts that leafy one in the back there is a skunk cabbage and in front here we have this ostrich fern the ostrich fern is indigenous to this part of the world but doesn't survive up here in Calgary because it's just too harsh in the winter and too cold and dry but they've done okay they've come back from last year in this pond here and eventually this water leads out and drains passively into the landscape we did have some fish in here last year and they did quite well I seeded the pond with uh, some local wildlife and uh, plant material. And we didn't have to feed them. And they did quite well in here for five months, of course, until winter. And uh, I'm quite proud of this project. It's coming along pretty well. Here's another drain. And this one drains out passively again into this shrubbery over here. And you can just see how much life there is and the diversity of species. It needs a little bit of work along the shoreline, but I'm going to probably do that this year. And uh, all of that is all native. This bank over here, that's a separate bank of uh, aquatic and shoreline plants. And that's all native stuff over there. And the system is doing really well. Uh, I might have to do something to control the algae this year. But for now, it's... Uh, quite happy I think oh, so there it is rainwater pond no pumps no aeration everything is fine and it's just a uh, really nice addition to this yard